Pleased to meet you. This is Fixed and Folded, the knife review channel for the casual knife collector. I'm Cody, and today I will be reviewing the Best Tech Swordfish. I think this is an extra large knife. Let me compare it really quick with my other extra, officially extra large knife, the Pyrite Large. Oh yeah. This is uh, maybe even, uh, no, it's the same, same length as the extra large Pyrite Large. So, Best Tech is a Chinese company, and this one is really high quality, really good value for the money. This retails for $70 on bladescanada.com. I got this one on sale at Cutting Edge Cutlery for like $58. Um, you've got contour G10 handle, uh, D2 blade polished. You've got bearings for washers and a design that's really similar to my Spartan Pal Palace? No, Poros, Spartan Poros. Their dimensions are almost identical, but the styling is different in material and price. So this has a liner lock. It has partially, partially milled liners. There's just a little slat cut out in a circle in here. But the weight is light, kind of medium thickness on the handle. Um, I'm trying to decide if there's no hot spot on the bill of the clip here or if there's a tiny hot spot. No, I would say it's uh, good. I'd say that's not a hot spot on this uh, deep carry pocket clip. Uh, it looks like the pocket clip is not uh, multi-directional it's just a uh, right hand or right side carry only uh, blade is perfectly centered from the box the action is very smooth with the bearings and there's no grit and it's shake shut it's um, has a nice it has a nice um, smooth action on it this is a <clears throat> light switch style deployment with this switch. It's not push button at all. You want to just go pretty much straight up and down. Hand comfort for the uh, handle is very good. You have some usable medium jimping on the blade here. And there is no jimping on the handle back or bottom of the handle. You do have a little bit of a cut out here, uh, both to uh, place your index finger on and also for access to the liner. Access is, you can see, to the liner is very good. It's mildly chamfered, the liner itself, so it's, it's not abrasive to the finger, but it also doesn't slide off. It's really, really well designed to access the liner. Got your lanyard hole here. You've got steel liners and a, some sort of material, maybe G10 or a plastic backspacer. It looks like the pivot screw is a T6, which is not ideal. It looks like T6 is Looks like T6 is all around. I'll uh, confirm that here. Okay. So the pivot screw is a T8, and then body screws are T6. So T8, definitely going to be more robust than a T6, less likely to strip. <clears throat> You've got your best tech uh, symbol here on the this show side of the pivot. This uh, blade says best tech knives with their best tech logo on here embossed. And on the other side, it just says D2. Um, in use, I like D2. 
been good edge retention, good durability. It's um, not a full stainless steel, so make sure to keep it dry. Once you can get it wet, but then dry it off after. Don't leave it wet. Um, I like. I really like the design. I think it looks attractive. You have a high saber grind with an unsharpened swedge on the top. This is excellent at piercing and very good at slicing. My only complaint is just the pokiness of the flipper. Um, it doesn't, it, it's just, um, it kind of forces you to use the preferred method or the method that they designed it of a light switch. When you just go up and down with it, it's perfect. But since most uh, flippers are kind of somewhere between a light switch and a push button, uh, my default is to kind of push diagonally and it's, it's pokey here. It's smoothed, but it's, it's really not going to be friendly for you to, to push it diagonally. It, it pokes into my finger. So using it as designed to go up and down, so if I, push, if I just push right down, it's great. But if I kind of push in like I'm used to, then it's a bit of a hot spot there. Um, but then it's, you know, for me to just, just use it as designed, it's very comfortable. Um, I think it's possible that they could have designed this a bit round, more rounded um, at the tip here to uh, make it so you don't have to just light switch it. You could also go diagonally down this way and uh, have no hot spot here. But that's a minor issue. The value of about $70 with the fit and finish, the design materials is uh, excellent. Tommy, get out of there. My assistant cat Tommy is uh, doing Tommy things in the cupboard. Okay, so I'll do uh, the full range of size comparisons. This is an extra large knife. It's a medium sized knife. My extra large hands have handled real estate even at the back. This destroys the uh, size of the Benchmade bug out. Got a between medium and large size, but there's a lot of knife sizes in this category, like Spyderco Tenacious. This is the Kaiser Escort. Let's see here, and this fills out my hand nicely. And you go full size. This is the Spyderco Manix, no, Spyderco PM2. And in terms of overall length, this has three quarters of an inch or half an inch longer, mostly with the, mostly in the blade. Show you how this fits in my hand. So even with uh, <clears throat> extra large hands with gloves, this is going to be comfortable. And again, with a extra large size knife, the CGRB Pyrite L or large. We've got very similar dimensions for length and handle real estate on this. This is a great knife. Um, yeah, I have to give this an A+. I got to give this an A+. Great value, and uh, I do resonate with this. So if you also think the design looks nice, you're going to be really happy with the fit and finish and the price and the utility of the blade shape. Uh, you're probably not going to need a knife this large, but it's just cool to have. And it does uh, not take up too much real estate in the pocket. It's a nice overall balanced design of hand comfort, sturdiness in hand, um, kind of multi-purpose blade shape. And with your deep pocket carry, if you want, you can deep pocket it. Um, yeah, okay, that concludes my review of the Best Tech Swordfish, and hope you have a great day, I uh, will talk to you soon.